What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the finale of the Tunod region as we know it. Well, not really, actually, but welcome to the the final battle of the Elite Four, the champion Pokemon trainer, Blake. Why does I call him a trainer? He's just Blake, but he's he's a champion, and I don't think he specializes in color. I think he specializes in freaking um, Fricker, uh, dark types, so today that's what we're gonna be doing, we don't really have the best fighting, you know, situation for that, but we do have, uh, we do have focus punch on you and super power on you, but super power lowers this dude's attack, so I don't know how good of a situation we're in, but without further ado, let's go and, uh, whoa, look at this, it's like, it's, uh, it's like gold, that's really interesting, I don't think he specializes in gold Pokemon, oh shoot, I knew that one day I'd finally get to see you walk up those steps and challenge me. I know you're strong, but I don't know which of us is stronger. It's time for us to finally battle and find out. Dig this music. It looks like we're challenging, uh, let's see, Champion Blake. That's a weird character spread he has going. Alright, immediately he has a freaking stalling ass Pokemon, which is not the best, but I guess we're gonna go for a focus punch and pray he doesn't use body slam. However, he's, he probably is, so that's my own fault. Oh, he's gonna use curse. What does that do? His speed fell, his attack rose, his defense rose. Oh man, are you kidding me? That's a pretty OP move. Because Norox doesn't need speed, he's already not fast. Alright, so we're gonna take half health right there. If he doesn't go for another curse, then we should be able to take him out right here. Bruh. Bruh. Alright. Well, now we're not even going to be able to take him out. Let's see. Can we still do it? There's probably not. And we can't. He's probably going to heal here. And he's going to use a full restore. Aye, aye, aye. So already, this dude is just stalling the, sh the, the crap out of me. Sure. I think I should have started with Swallow, and, or switched to Swallow and poison him. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully we don't get one-tapped, though. Oh, No, I'm not going to do that. Alright. Well, uh... Let's go for an Earthquake and see how much damage that does. A little bit. I think we can go for one more Earthquake. Bruh, are you serious? This dude just raising his... Alright, well the problem is if this guy actually uses an attack now, it's gonna be super powerful, so... I'm kinda scared. Alright, we're gonna go for an Earthquake that should... Okay, that's enough. Bruh. Are you serious? Really? Really? Alright, we're going for a Focus Punch, it looks like. So this Snorlax is just an absolute stall of a Pokemon. I mean, I can't say I didn't see it coming. I wish we had Toxic ready on Swallow, however. Would have been way better. Uh, Alright, I think we're just going to go for another Focus Punch while he's sleeping. Alright. And we do good about I think we're gonna go for a surf now and then finish him off with one last focus punch all right he's gonna wake up and he's gonna use bicep how much damage will that do well then all right it's time for Demetrius Demetrius is gonna get out there and he's not gonna heal please do not heal cuz I'm literally putting everything into this right now all right this is it Yep, and we pull it off. Awesome. Alright, so with that, we're gonna take him out. Super cool. And it was a trade one for one, I guess you could say. How much XP do we get from this? Wow. Quite the amount. Alright, Umbriata's gonna come up next. We're actually gonna switch to our buddy Iris, because Umbriata is such a staller. Like, an absolute stalling unit, which is. You know, pretty annoying actually. So he's gonna set out his Umbreon, and I'm gonna go for an item that I swore I would only use in the Elite Four, which is if I can find it. I don't know where it is. A Max Revive. Here it is. 
All right, we're going to use that on Azula, and he is going to be revived to his fullest potential once again. Also, we might have to use an elixir, but I don't know. Mean Look is going to prevent us from escaping or whatever. I'm totally fine with that because Iris, what, this is what you're going to do. You're going to get in here and use Toxic. Awesome. So we hit it first try. We can't escape, so we're just going to have to take try to take this guy down little by little because I don't think Umbreon uses actual attacks. And it looks like he has synchronized, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. So his only attack... His only form of attacking is going to be through poison. What I want to do is get him low enough with Iris to the point where we'll be able to finish him off with one focus punch. Okay, yeah, Aerial Ace does the job. Um, we can't escape, actually, so we're going to have to die by die from poison. Um, so how much damage can we do before uh, dying? I think we might actually... Oh. My. Wow. Turn of events there, as you can see. I don't know what that was about. Holy crap. Alright. We're going to send Mochi up our lowest level to highest after just grinding freaking Flareons. He's now our highest level Pokemon. He's going to send out Weevil to Pokemon, who is actually our level. Alright, so yeah. Definitely didn't overtrain. Uh, Fire Blast. We're going to use this and hopefully you don't miss. Perfect. That should be super effective. Can we one-tap, though? Yes, we can. Oh my god. Mochi the Beast. Absolute unit. Alright, he's gonna send out Han oh, uh, Houdu, which is fire and ground, so uh, we're actually just gonna stay in. We should have double the effectiveness on this Houndu coming up. Now, if Houndu is faster, I'm not really sure, but uh, we're going for it all right here. Can we one tap the Houndu? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Wow, Mochi is just such a monster, bro. And this was given us. This is given to us by the, uh, you know, the developer himself. And he just gave us an absolute freaking tank. All right, Honch goes up next. We're not gonna fight with uh, fighting types. We're gonna use Demetrius. Although um, I just remembered after setting him out just now, Demetrius's attack was actually lowered. Uh, remember, because he used superpower. So I don't know how much Thunderbolt is gonna do. I do have a backup plan though. We always have Frostlass who has Ice Beam. Probably should have just gone with that, but let's see how much uh, Thunderbolt can do. And it was a critical hit. We get a critical hit off. We are the luckiest players ever right now. We just got a critical hit. Alright, uh, Dark Eyes up next. I don't really know how I'm supposed to fight against that, so we're going to go for Azula and use Focus Punches. Hopefully that does quite the amount of damage, as this is his final Pokemon. Damn, look at that. Oh, 57. All right. I'm going to go for a focus punch. All right, we're tightening our focus. He's going to use Shadow Ball. Pretty strong move. Yikes. Our special defense is going to fall. Oh, are you serious? All right, so we're just going for an Earthquake. He's going to use Shadow Ball again. Yikes, we are really low. Uh, How much damage will Earthquake do? Oh, it does actually a, a pretty good amount. All right, we're gonna go for a skull. Nope. Yeah, he's just gonna finish this off. I probably should have healed. Wasn't really thinking. However, we do have another Pokemon with um, Earthquake, so we're gonna go right back into Mochi. Our buddy here, as I think Dark Eye is Dark type and Ghost or something. I don't. I don't really know. All right, we're gonna go for a Flame Wheel. Oh, he's gonna go for Shadow Ball. Take it. Take it. Come on. Come on. All right. Doing a lot of damage to Dark Guy. We're gonna go for a flame wheel here. That's gonna get it low. Yeah, he's gonna use his leftovers. Perfect. You or citrus barrier. That's actually exactly what I wanted. And now we're gonna go with Earthquake. And it should be enough to take him out. Even though the Citrus Barrier gave him a lot of HP back. Alright, well, Zippo, get out there. I believe in you. Alright. Alright. This is it. Fire Blast. We're gonna do it. Uh oh, is that what does that do? Man, are you serious? Alright, well we're definitely gonna heal and not stand for that, because that is really annoying. Um here we go. Full heal. 
Alright, hopefully he doesn't use it again. He's gonna use Nightmare, but it failed. Alright, we're gonna go... We're gonna go right for a Fire Blast here. If it... If it's enough to take him out, he's gonna use Shadow Wall. And... Is it enough? No, it is not. Alright. Let's go for a Dragon Claw. He's probably gonna heal. Yep. So this guy is just gonna keep on using Shadow Ball and destroying us. I don't really know what we could do here. Let's go for a Dragon Claw, see how much damage that oh my god. This might be it. We could finish this Dark Ride with a Dragon Claw. Do that much damage it does. That's actually insane. I wish if I knew how much damage Dragon Claw did to this guy, I would have used it instead of Fire Blast. Now I feel like a fool. Alright, we're gonna use another full heal as this dude just keeps on putting us to sleep. Tank it. Don't get a critical hit, please. And we are at 1 HP after a critical hit. This is act this is freaking scary, bro. Really? Frost, get in there. I believe in you. Alright, Frost. You're gonna go for an ice beam. Alrighty then. It looks like we are fast asleep here. As he's gonna use a shadow ball and it's super effective, of course. Uh, Alright, and with that, um we're gonna send out Iris. I actually do have some form of a plan here. This is what I wanna do. Let's get hurt by poison. I guarantee you we're not faster. Yep. I mean, really? Oh, well, he took damage for himself. That's actually good. Okay, we're not gonna die quite yet. Um, you know what? We're just gonna use this chance to heal. I have a four sword. Do I have a four sword? Yeah, we have one four sword left. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want to use. We have a max revive. We have one max revive left. I'm using it right now, right here, on our buddy Zippo. So let's do that really quickly. Alright, with that we have Zippo back. He's gonna just use a full restore. Whatever. We're gonna be hurt by poison. Alright. As he uses another full restore, we're gonna go back into Zippo. And we're gonna have to tank his uh, Shadow Ball somehow as he keeps on getting critical hits. It's really annoying. But whatever. Wait, what? How? You had a substitute on. Uh. Alright. I don't know how the, what just happened, but... Yeah, alright. The substitute faded. This guy is so annoying. We're gonna go for a Dragon Claw here. He missed his lovely kiss, thankfully. Alright, I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw, and this should take over half of his health. Alright, this is it right here. If we can use it. Bruh. Really? Alright, do we have a full heal? We should. Let's see. Okay, we have three left. Alright, we're gonna use that on Zippo. His nightmare is gonna fail, and with that. I th we should be faster in Dark Rise, so. Really? How are we not faster, bro? Due to how low he is now, Blake is probably gonna use a full restore. I, I see it coming. So, yep, he's using a full restore. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for a Dragon Claw here. You know, since he used a full restore, although Dark Rise is somehow faster than us, we should be fast enough where we can pull off another Dragon Claw. Or not. Alright, he's gonna use a Shadow Ball here. Can we tank it? Yes, we can, which means we have finished Blake off, finally. His Dark Ride was such a pain. Oh, man. But we finally did it. Oh, my God, that was rough. Finally. I know it'd take lots of pride and respect. However, I'm even happier that I got to crown a new champion, Roman. Man, you are a real pain, I'm, I'll be honest. And you give us the least amount of money. 
I must extend my greatest congratulations to you. You did extremely well, much better than I could hope for. However, my reign as champion is over. If you're going to continue traveling, that means the league is without a champion. So the next person to enter that door is the new champion of Toonon. I'm ready to take you down, champion. Get ready to crown a new king of Toonon because it's me. Aw, oh, bruh. Aw, oh, Roman beat me here? I can wait my turn, I guess. May I ask for your name, challenger? My name is Percy, and this is my beloved partner, Kualavo. You must be Blake the champion, correct? Ex-champion, my friend, you're the real champion. But how? Roman beat me just before you arrived, and since Roman forfeited duties as champion, that means the next person to beat the Elite Four is the next champion. Percy, you're the new champion of Toonon. But first, we must register you in the Hall of Fame, Roman. Follow me. Bruh, what? No. This is the Hall of Fame where the champions of Toonon are recorded in prosperity. Is that what he said? Place your Pokemon here so you can, you can record the party you've worked for. Bruh. What? Now, are you telling me Percy, the guy with a level 40 Kulava, is the champion because we for we didn't even forfeit? And we don't get that really cool animation of all the Pokemon being in. I guess we're just here now. I believe this is our home. Let's check our Pokemon. Are we healed? Okay, so we're not even healed either. Great. Um. Well, let's put our buddy Zippo up first, I guess. Dang, so I guess... That's that. Oh, Professor Willow. Congrats. I knew you'd become champion after all, Albe, unofficially. But people still consider you a champion anyway. Listen, my good old friend Professor Oak and his student just flew in from the Johto region and think you'd benefit from meeting him. You can probably find him at the Southerly City Air Airport if you want to go look for him. In the meantime, I have experiments to run. Goodbye and congrats. Well then, it looks like we have actually beat Pokemon Glaze as we are now... Standing out and, uh, you know, just, just chilling out here. Let's go talk to that one guy in here because I believe he actually heals you. Yeah, he does. Awesome. So with that, he's going to heal us up and we are going to... Alright, well, I guess we're not going to do that. And I think I, there might be an item right here. Let's, let's check. I've never been able to go past you, actually, until now. Let's see. No. 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 Oh, there's definitely something here. Where are we? What the heck? So I guess you can just skip the entire forest pass by going over here. No secret items, though, sadly. Huh. Really interesting. No secret little... Yeah, I guess that was that. Alright, before we go to the, um, before we go to Sully Airport, because I guess that's where we have to go now, um, that was Pokemon Glaze, thank you so much for, you know, tuning in all this time, it means a lot, um, you know, I haven't really gotten too much support this playthrough, but for Caleb, my friend, he's been here the whole playthrough, and it's nowhere near over, the post game is probably bigger than the normal game, from what I've heard, and we still have to catch, like, 40 legendary Pokemon, so we're nowhere near done, but, uh, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. We are actually in Sutterly City now due to my teleporting powers. And before we go to the airport down there, there's actually something we need to do that I was kind of talking about not too long ago. And that is going into this forest right here. Now, why, you may be asking? Well, as I said, Swellow is, you know, yeah, I, we, we all know Swellow's situation right now. So, there is a Pokemon in here I would love to include on the team. But I don't know how we're actually going to catch it without one tapping it. I didn't really think of that. So I guess I'll do that off camera. But the Pokemon I want to be catching is a Curlia. I guess I'll do it on camera next episode actually. You know what? Makes more sense if I just do it next episode and I have a Pokemon prepared to uh to fight it. So it looks like they're gonna be ranging around level twenty something. Alright, so I'll just get like a level twenty something out of the PC. But for now that's gonna wrap up the episode. Um thank you so much for watching. Next episode we're gonna catch uh, a Curlia, specifically a female, because I've decided to take a Gardevoir instead of a Gallade. I've never really used a Gardevoir. So yeah, I'll see you guys next episode when we catch a Curlia, and we go to the Sully City Airport, where we're going to meet Professor Oak and probably go on to the next region. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys then. Peace.